Hello everyone and welcome back to the series of Digital Logic Design and today we will study about Universal Gates. NAND and NOR gate are referred as Universal Gates because individually both these gates can implement any boolean function without the need to use any other type of logic gates. Like if you have an expression which normally consists of multiplication, addition or NOT operation these all operations can individually be implemented by NAND and NOR gate without use of any other type of logic gate. So the NAND and NOR gates are used extensively as standard logic gates and are in fact far more popular than AND and OR gate. This is because NAND and NOR gates can be easily constructed with transistor circuits and also that digital circuits can easily be implemented with them. The NAND gate is said to be a universal gate because any logic circuit can be implemented with it. A NAND gate has more than one input but one output. The NAND function is the complement of the AND function as indicated by graphic symbol which consists of an AND graphic symbol followed by a small circle or bubble. The gate logic symbol of two input NAND gate is shown in the figure. If two inputs X and Y are applied to the NAND gate, the Boolean expression for the NAND gate output will be X dot Y whole prime. And the output of the NAND gate is low if and only if all the inputs are high or otherwise it will be high. And this can also be verified from the truth table of two input NAND gate which is given here. Now we know that the AND invert symbol consists of AND graphic symbol followed by a small circle negation indicator referred as a bubble. Alternatively, it is also possible to represent a NAND gate by an OR gate graphic symbol that is preceded by a bubble for each input. This is due to the De Morgan's law. Because if we have an expression x dot y dot c whole prime According to the law, this will be equal to the sum of x prime, y prime, z prime, and the same logic is implemented here for an alternative representation of a NAND gate. So both NAND and negative OR logic gates are equivalent and are shown in the figure. Now to show that any Boolean function can be implemented with a NAND gate, we need only to show that the logical operations of AND, OR and complement can be obtained with NAND gates alone. Like the complement operation is obtained from one input NAND gate that behaves exactly like an inverter. Usually the inverter has an input A and its output is A prime where in case of NAND gate we have a minimum of two input so we will short the both input or the same input will be applied to the both input terminals so the input will be a and output will be a dot a prime or a prime so in this case the NAND gate will act as an inverter now the AND operation requires two NAND gate the first NAND gate produces NAND operation like if we have input A dot B, the output of first NAND gate will be A dot B whole prime. And we will add a second NAND gate which will invert the logical sense of the signal. So the relation will be A dot B double prime which is equal to A dot B which is an AND operation. Now the OR operation is achieved through a NAND gate with an additional inverters for each input. Now here if we wish to have an operation of A plus B using the NAND gate, so we will have a NAND gate whose both inputs are inverted also using the NAND gate. So the input will be A prime and B prime and the output expression will be A prime dot B prime and whole prime. Now using De Morgan's law, this will be simplified into A plus B which is an operation of OR gate. 
Now the NOR gate is also an universal gate because again we can implement any logic circuit with this. The NOR operation is a dual of NAND operation and it also have more than one input but one output. The NOR function is the complement of OR function as indicated by a graphic symbol which consists of an OR graphic symbol followed by a small circle or a bubble. Now the logic symbol of two input NOR gate is shown in the figure. If two inputs X and Y are applied to a NOR gate, the Boolean expression for the output of NOR gate will be X plus Y whole prime. The output of NOR gate is high if and only if all the inputs are low, otherwise output is low. And this can also be verified from the truth table of a two input NOR gate which is given below. The OR invert symbol defines the NOR operation is an OR operation followed by a complement and the invert AND symbol complements each input and then performs the AND operation. Or alternatively, it is possible to represent a NOR gate by an AND gate graphic symbol that is preceded by a bubble in each input, which represents an invert operation. Now according to De Morgan's law, if we have x plus y plus z whole prime, this will be equal to x prime dot y prime dot z prime. Hence, both NOR and negative AND logic gates are equivalent. Now to show that any Boolean function can be implemented with NOR gate, we need only to show that the logical operations of AND, OR and complement can be obtained using the NOR gates alone. Like the complement operation is obtained from one input NOR gate that behaves exactly like an inverter. Usually we have one input inverter if its input is A then output is A prime where in case of NOR gate we have minimum of two input so we will apply same input to the both terminals and the output will be equal to A plus A whole prime or A prime. So this is the operation of an inverter which is obtained using a NOR gate. Now here the OR operation requires two NOR gate. The first produces the NOR operation and second inverts the logical sense of the signal. Like if we have two inputs A and B and we wish to perform A plus B using NOR gate. So we will apply this to first NOR gate which will give us the result of A plus B whole prime. Now the output of first NOR gate will be applied as an input to second NOR gate. So the output will be A plus B whole double prime. Double prime will cancel their operation and the result will be A plus B which is an operation of an OR gate. Similarly, the AND gate operation can also be achieved using the NOR gate. For this, additional inverters in each input are used like for the operation of a dot b we will use nor gate where both inputs will be applied to a nor gate but after an inverter so the output will be a prime plus b prime and whole prime using de morgan's law this will be simplified into a dot b and this is an an operation also note that for inverter operation we have used a nor gate Thanks for watching the video and stay connected for more interesting videos.